What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got a little surprise for you, a little peacemaker. So, just want to get this out of the way now before the questions arise, and I know they're going to come up anyways. The only reason we're doing this show right now, because I don't have time to do it. I don't have the time to edit it. We have time to sit and watch a show. I don't have the time to edit it. Our movie reaction editor, Miles, thank you, Miles, offered, he just threw it out there and said, hey, if you guys want to watch Peacemaker, I'll edit them. I was well, like, oh, damn, what? okay, awesome. You know how many hours that saves this one? And it gives us an hours. opportunity to give another hot piece of content to the community. And I'm going to say it again for those who may not be listening in the back. The only reason this is happening is because our movie reaction editor, Miles, offered to edit these for us. So, so give a round of applause to Miles in the comment yes. section below. Say thank you to Miles, and yeah, that's why we're here. And this is a show that I totally want to watch. After watching The Suicide Squad and hearing that John Cena was getting his own series as Peacemaker, I'm like, this is going to be an absolutely ridiculously stupid good time. I was not a huge fan of the most recent Suicide Squad, if you watched our movie reaction to it. I'm not a huge John Cena fan, and you know. But most of that is my, like, I'll take responsibility for that because I've been watching wrestling for a very long time, the majority of our relationship for the most part. He's just cheesy and goofy, which I normally love. He's, like, cheesy and goofy, and I just, I, I normally, that's, like, my favorite favorite thing. I mean, come on. I love Birdemic. That movie is terrible, but I love it. But it's just, I don't know. It's been many, I'm many. I'm giving this a chance though. It's totally just open. It's been many, 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 many years of me not wanting John Cena on my TV for pro wrestling anymore. And it's just, you know, oh, it just kind of rubs blame, off. Just blame him. That's, I'm, that's fine. it is my, I'm taking the blame for this. I know. I'm telling yeah. them to blame you. Yeah. So that, that's the whole thing with the Cena hate, if there is any. I think he's a friggin' clown. I think he's absolutely hilarious. His role in Suicide Squad was just, just again, ridiculously stupid good fun. And I feel like you can't take it too serious. Yeah. That's this is definitely the type of, that. this is definitely the type of content that you're just, here to enjoy and have fun just watching just a bunch of crazy shit go down. And I feel like that's what he is. I feel like he's got a really good... I feel like he's found his niche in terms of being an actor now. And I, this role, like, I thought he was annoying as hell, but I thought he fucking crushed it because I feel like that's the whole point of that character. Okay, here, so here's my thing. Anything, anybody that grew up watching Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Goes to Jail, you know Ernest. And it's like... No one can take that place, and it feels like John Cena's trying to take Ernest goes to whatever, and I you can't. Nothing can live up to that, okay? I don't, know. I don't think Peacemaker is following along the lines of that concept. No, I highly doubt. I, I think this is going to be a really, if it's anything even close to what the Suicide Squad was, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I am very excited to check out this show, and mm -hmm. again... Thank you, Miles, for doing the edits oh, on these. We appreciate it's you so much. saving a huge load for me. That is for damn sure because, again, I don't have the time to edit right now. And I don't know when a spot would open up in terms of editing because we got a lot of stuff coming back. And, yeah, it's going to be wild. So, you ready to jump into the Peacemaker? Mm -hmm. Let's go. It's Christopher Smith, known as Peacemaker. His father was a soldier who trained his son how to kill from the moment he was born. I like that they're giving us a little bit of like, hey, here's a reminder. Peacemaker, what a joke. Forgot about that part. You're shot and a building falls on you and all you have to replace is a clavicle. You're the luckiest man alive. You may be up the contrast on the x-ray a little more to show the definition of my muscles. Oh my God. Put a lot of time in my small muscle groups, and according to this, it was just wasted effort. <laughs> so I can leave? Go home. Enjoy life. Small muscle groups. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Only he would want the definition in an x ray to show his muscles. You cool? 
What does that mean? Dude, can I trust you? No. No? I, I don't know you, man. Well, why do you think I'm mopping floors, bro? I went to MIT. I don't like the responsibility. You went to MIT? <laughs> what the fuck? Why aren't you listening to me? I love this. Don't be trustworthy. Just let me ask you a question and don't tell anybody about it, okay? I would never betray a secret. And it's the opposite of everything you've been saying. <laughs> Superhero shit. <laughs> You're oh. there naked. Peacemaker. <laughs> Get out of here, motherfucker. Are you a fan? There's no superhero called Peacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> Famous Aquaman, he's famous. Fuck Aquaman. No, man. He bangs chicks, good for him. He fucks dudes, got no problem with that. He starts fucking fish. That's taking it a step too far. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we hating on Aquaman? All right. Yes. You're that racist superhero. No. You only kill minorities, man. Somebody's committing a crime. Yes. Am I supposed to control what their ethnicity is? I will trust white people less in the future and kill a higher percentage of them. Are you satisfied? Yes. <laughs> this conversation is fucking amazing. I can just go? Why not? How about you cover up your freaking ass first? Nothing to see here. <laughs> Go, drive. Oh my God, he has his own dance. Oh my God, he has dancers. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> Do you want to taste it? Oh my god. I, this is my personal one. I like that. <laughs> and an eagle. And an eagle. Of course he's got an eagle. Does the eagle have fangs though? <laughs> oh my god. A whole new world. Not world. World. Okay, so she had eight pussies? <laughs> as far as I know, she only had one pussy. That's just her name. If we have a kid, I'd like to name her Octopussy. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> and if it's a boy, Sharknado. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this job of yours, it might be dangerous. Or... This is just a paycheck. I know that I'm not made for this shit. Love you. Love you too. Is that his house? Of course it is. It's, it's, uh, it's Corto Maltese money. I have no idea how much it is. Maybe it's 50 cents, but maybe it's a million bucks. It ain't a million bucks. What's in the bag? <laughs> he took his friggin' mask. <laughs> is he gonna be, feel lost without it? Oh no. Elvis scroll. Oh. Yo, man, it's Vigilante. What up? Uh, I was wondering if you wanted to go out on a team up tonight. P, it's V. Are you watching this game, dude? Uh, I called you P and me V as if you were a penis and I was a vagina. Uh, Stay where you are, Smith. Fuck, I knew it was fucking too good to be true. Fuck. Fuck. I'm good. Fuck! <laughs> I report directly to our Waller. I report directly to Amanda Waller. This is Harcourt, who you may know from Waller's team at Bell Reef. She'll be a handler in the field. John Economist, who you may also know. Glad to be here. Ready to kick some ass. Harcourt. I feel like because we're the only women here, we have to have each other's back. I know inside my mind I'm not supposed to be giving a speech, but sometimes my mouth just does what it wants. So. <laughs> mouth, I'm biting my tongue right now. I feel you. <laughs> That's me. I'm not talking. She's my new favorite person! <laughs> Known as Project Butterfly. As I recall, you guys aren't particularly creative with case file names. Arctic starfish was a giant walking starfish. So what am I, fighting the moth right now? <laughs> I am. 
Can I get a jetpack? No, it's not a Mothra. Still, my desire for a jetpack remains because you got me all excited about it. We need you to do contract work. What if I say no? Still have that bomb in your head to track you with, and if that fails, we'll blow you the hell up. Do you want my food, Dye Beard? It's not dyed. Oh, yeah, sure. Hard edge two tone gray and magic marker brown. That's natural. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Who's eager? Don't you do your research? He's my sidekick. Uh, he has an eagle sidekick. Eagly. I'm going to assume that it's an eagle. Creative names. Oh, damn. On the American flag is upside down. The world, the country's in chaos. You that peacemaker guy? Evil supervillain? Not a supervillain, a superhero. <laughs> Batman is a superhero. Yeah? Joe Black and Don't Show Centro is a dude working in his fucking garden. Yeah, just because some other dumb motherfuckers out there with shears clipping roses doesn't mean you aren't. <laughs> Why make up a person with such a long name? I don't spend all my fucking time thinking of realistic sounding last names. You wrinkly old fuck. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Got out of prison? You don't say. Yeah, it's been, somebody shot me. A building fell on me. You let somebody shoot you? It's not like I invited him to come shoot me, Dad. Pathetic. Ouch. <laughs> okay. This feels like a Zoolander situation. It does, like right? Father, Daddy yeah. issues. Merman! Eagle. Aw. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Daddy is just awesome, right? Oh, is he getting a hug from an eagle right now? He's hugging me. He's hugging me. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. You get a kick out of this, Dad. Eagly. Guy I was working with, blood sport. We find out he's got a rat phobia. Hey, Dad, Dad, you know how he got the phobia? Of course I don't fucking know how he got it. <laughs> His own father tortured him by locking him in a crate for 24 hours with nothing but starving rats. It's <laughs> 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 funny, right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this bag that was afraid of the rats. Yeah. Please, God, don't tell me he was the one who shot you. Inappropriate. <laughs> I'm gonna feel like there's gonna be a lot of inappropriate in this show. <laughs> How did my fucking spur go into a Nancy boy like you? Look, I just came by to get Eagly and see if you had another helmet for me. I, uh. <sighs> did everybody write down that code? What the hell? This one has full body force field. And this has sonic blast capabilities. It's like enchanted helmets in Minecraft. I hesitate giving you any helmet. As big a simp as you turned out to be. Fuck. If you can do some good with it, maybe take out a couple of commies, some blacks, some papers, a cake or something. Oh my God. Dad, that's not my thing. Um... I do what I do to stop criminals, not specific. Yeah, sure. Dude, his dad is racist as fuck. Oh my god. This guy. <laughs> Did this dipshit really show up in full cosplay mode? <laughs> why are you in your costume? This is a uniform. Maybe I'm stupid, but why would you even want to wear that on a mission? A bright red shirt and white pants aren't exactly conducive to lurking in the shadows. People see this uniform, start <laughs> what people? The other people at the village people try out? Why is there a bald eagle in your car? It's eagle. Eagly is your pet eagle. Yeah. Is your dog named Doggy? <laughs> All right. Do you have a daughter named Daughtery? <laughs> Dude, he gets picked on a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sweet Cheeks, can you take my sweet order real quick? Sweet Cheeks? Hi, Sorry. I mean, kind of puts himself in these positions. 
She had cherubic cheeks. It's a compliment. Sweet cheeks is your butt. No, it's not. It is. It's like calling somebody, I don't know, sugar tits. <laughs> Tits are way too big to be sugar tits. Sugar tits are like smaller, perkier tits, like yours. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> like in a really kind of entertaining way. Back, baby, twerk it and twerk it. Get my little tush out. Hey man, what's up? I just found out this girl that I'm seeing, she's pregnant, you know. You got a girlfriend? Yeah. yeah. Why are you always trying to get me to set you up with my cousin then? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say like girlfriend. And you're happy she's pregnant. Yeah. Because we are going to have an abortion. What the? Is this just like a shocker show? Like, let me just say all the crazy shit. <laughs> hey, you're invited if you. Want. I don't want to come to your abortion, man. I mean, it definitely feels like that style. Yeah. I thought sure. shock value. I thought we were done with that era, but whatever. I mean, what do you think the Suicide Squad was? That's also true. <laughs> hey, boy. Learn to drive now? You gonna drive us home? Yeah. It's friendly? Oh, yeah. I love animals. Please don't attack her. <laughs> hey. Hey, bud. Oh, oh God. Oh, shit, man, I thought you said it was friendly. Oh, I thought you meant friendly to me. You know, you're so happy to see me today, wrap his wings around me and hug me. An eagle hugged you. Yeah, I call bullshit on that. You don't want to believe in miracles, that's on you. Married, yeah. Mm, that's cool. I'm into old-fashioned stuff, too. You know, humble figurines and capital punishment and garbage pill kids and stuff. Garbage, garbage pill, pill kids. kids. I still got my garbage pill kids in my parents' house. Not ever small. <laughs> At a bio. <laughs> Out of bio. <laughs> Although I do appreciate the confidence with which you said something so wrong. <laughs> That and having a big dick. <laughs> yep, information I had no need for. It's too big, actually. It causes people pain. Okay. Kids in junior high, they called me chimp arm. <laughs> oh, what in the fuck? <laughs> chimp arm. <laughs> oh my god, this is absolutely ridiculous. It's like a dog. He's got his tongue hanging out. I think this show is going to make me laugh in laughter. I think I'm going to cringe laugh. Like, laugh because I'm uncomfortable type of laugh. The Goldilocks. Ew, don't touch me. As long as it's a question about how to cure rotting fish breath, sure. Oh, shit. <laughs> she didn't even flinch, punk. He got really fucking close. I don't like that. Don't touch. Crazy coincidence, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uncanny. Right? Harcourt, right? Yeah. So your first name? Why? It's curious. I mean, you know, you don't have to call me Peacemaker. You can call me Chris. I'll call you Peacemaker. You call me Harcourt. How's that? Okay. What the fuck did you say to my friend, you ugly fucking... <laughs> Love her. Love her. She's amazing. Oh, I love it. What was that next one? Oh, the ugly fucking one. Any of the rest of you want to finish it for him? <laughs> she started with a fucking throat punch. <laughs> He's in love. I have no interest in you other than your ability to fight for us. Just because you're handsome doesn't mean you're not a piece of shit murderer. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Please fuck off. But you said handsome. <laughs> so you're telling me there's a shot. <laughs> What's a guy like me and a girl like you? I'm not asking for emotional connection here. I'm just asking for fun. Genital to genital contact. No touching above here. <laughs> what? No, fuck it. It's got to be here. I got to touch your boobs. Sorry. Cool, and I'm just trying to fucking have a beer, but whether it's those douchebags or you, I guess that's just something that I can't have. Get it, girl. Fuck yourself. Yeah. Chris. Word. Dang. Oh, God. Leave that girl alone. No one wants your... Oh, oh. shit. 
afraid of. I can't. What the hell? He's just screaming freed out. <laughs> oh, this is out of control. Did my forger get you the diary? This goofy shit. Hide it in his trailer the first chance you get somewhere he won't find it. How's Peacemaker? <laughs> yeah, he's his own thing. Sexist. Yeah. Probably racist. Oh, you know who his father is. Oh, yeah. But there's something else about him that's sad. Night, baby girl. Night, no. mom. Oh. Mom. Oh. Oh no, the tidy whities Yep. She's brushing her teeth for a very long time. No way. Choir boys? Went to see these guys when I was a kid. Went to see her. Oh my goodness. See how the child me. Can you put some pants on? She sat there. Oh my god. Smoking on my cigarette. <laughs> oh, fucking John Cena, dude. <laughs> I was having a crazy fucked up day, but when I was in your pussy back there, I felt, I don't know, fucking hope. Oh, what? Is that a personal vibrator? Personal massager, I should say. Yeah, it's definitely a personal massager. <laughs> oh, shit. Ow, 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 ow! Oh, what the fuck? Ow! Ow! Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Do you hear her roar? Oh god. Bitch. Oh! <laughs> oh god. Oh. oh! She's fucking possessed? What is happening? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh! <laughs> oh bitch! Oh bitch! Oh bitch! Oh bitch! <laughs> what in the fuck am I watching? Dude, her arms are dope, though. She looks amazing. What is she, though? I don't know. <laughs> she's... Maybe she's a werewolf or something. What in the fuck? Activate Sonic Boom! What the fuck? His helmet just disintegrated her. What the hell? <laughs> this is so awesome. <gasps> oh. What the hell is that? <laughs> like a possum or something? Is this a present? I brought you. Oh, uh, I brought you a present. I thought Eagly was in trouble after I that did Sonic too. boom. I A fake bird. I'm worried about it. 
<laughs> That's a pretty powerful helmet right there. He fucked up his car though. His car's done so. That was awesome. And like an awkward, uncomfortable, cringy, Inappropriate. just absolutely wild kind of way. <laughs> and it's exactly like honestly, it's exactly what I was expecting coming off of the Suicide Squad. Okay, but this is like you like Jackass. This is like watching I do. Jackass. I, I like my level of just just entertainment is weird. <laughs> and the stuff I laugh at is usually kind of just nonsense. <laughs> and this is like total nonsense. Like there's a lot of just really uncomfortable and appropriate shit. Like his dad is super racist and That's not funny. I mean, it's implied that he is as well because of that. Yeah. But like the stuff that comes out of these characters' mouths, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of shock. Yes, the shock value is definitely there. There is absolutely no holding back. There is absolutely just no filter at all. <laughs> It is just going to be all the way. We're going to make you feel as uncomfortable as possible. and It's working. Yeah. But, I mean... I mean, I think there were some funny parts, but just... The, I, the cringe is real. And I, <laughs> and, I, and I already feel like the deeper aspect of the story. Like, he's in pain. He's a sad individual. Like... He deal like he gets picked on and he doesn't have this perfect life and his dad is who he is and it's like he's just trying to be a superhero. He just wants to be a superhero. People see him as a villain. I mean, I I think one of his lines was women, children, and kids. I'll kill whoever it is to make as much peace as possible. And it's like, mm, it's a little uh kind of a contradiction a little bit. But yeah, I could see the internal struggle with him trying to like be a certain thing and it's not working. I mean, I don't know what the fuck he just got into a fight with. And that helmet power. That's what she friggin'. said. <laughs> I mean. Helmet power. <laughs> the whole last scene of the movie was him and his friggin' tidy whities, which, you know. It was mm -hmm. definitely a moment from the Suicide Squad that mm -hmm. was just like, bro, they gave us like the bottom, like the tilt up shot. The fruit basket is right it's Like, there. bro. Yeah, I think this is going to be, again, like I kind of said at the beginning, I don't think you could take this content that serious. I think it's just going to be a bunch of just absolutely insane, shocking, awkward, cringy, uncomfortable fun. Yeah. I think that's I what it's going to be. I see that. I mean, it's going to be outrageous. Again, thank you to Miles for editing all of this yeah. baloney. I mean, <laughs> just from top to bottom, I think outrageous is going to be a good word to use. Mm -hmm. I think it's just all going to be out. Like, he's got a pet bald eagle named Eagly. I, I, something's definitely happened to that eagle. Don't do like that. Like, one 100%. Now I'm attached. He seems like, like a good eagle. I mean, he gave him a hug. <laughs> Well, you could He's kinda, like, I feel like they should have um, fixed like where John Cena was looking when he was interacting with the eagle because he was like looking like way off of where the eagle was. So the CGI eagle is mm. very interesting. I, I just this is gonna be violent. <laughs> There's a lot of gore in this. I, that first, I, I think that's gonna be kind of like a preview of. The kind of gore we're gonna get very much like suicide squad just absolutely nasty and outrageous just blood guts flying everywhere but i mean limbs flying i understand why everybody wanted to wanted us to watch this like i understand the stupid humor like that's totally up our alley <laughs> so i get it and I it's gory it. and thank you it's gonna bring out really good reactions i feel like i mean suicide squad did so Word. well the suicide squad first one i think was horrible the suicide see squad. i like the first one and not a huge i mean i like i thought know. the second one was way better way better james like, gunn well i done. like harley i mean harley's harley in bull oh i mean harley in the first one was the best yeah, i did not like harley's own movie i didn't like that one but she was good in the suicide squad yeah but yeah i i think this is going to be a lot of fun 
Again, as long as you don't take it too serious, I think it's going to be very much enjoyable. I promise I won't take it serious. <laughs> I can't I mean, take John Cena serious there's, anyways. There's obviously some serious tones in this in terms of like the racism and like political like, stuff. Political stuff, which obviously you can't avoid and ignore that. Sexism. There's going to be a lot of that. I got it. There, there's serious tones in those kind of topics. But everything kind of around those moments. And I feel like they're even going to make those moments a joke. Like, they're going to just make it so outrageously crazy for John Cena's character to just do this absolute insanity that it's going to be uncomfortable. I, I feel a lot of uncomfort coming. And when I'm uncomfortable, I laugh. So, that's going to be very uncomfortable. <laughs> I Don't mean, cancel us. <laughs> I, think, I think outrageous is one word, and I think uncomfortable is another good word to describe what we're going to see. Yes. I mean, this very much flows, I feel, kind of along the lines of the boys. Yeah, I, think I get that. I think it's very much along those similar lines. Yeah. I think this is going to have a stronger comedy tone to it. But yeah, I, I think it's going to be outrageous. It's going to be out uncomfortable. And I think it's going to be funny as hell. And it's going to be just violent. So that was a really fun first episode. Yeah. So, Thank you, Sweet Cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Do he didn't... not call me sugar tip. <laughs> wow. Anything else? Now I'm going to have to rethink when I call people sweet cheeks. That's what I, I've called people sweet cheeks before. Now that's it. I'm done. Horrible. Thank you so much. All right. Well, you guys leave all your comments down below. We'll catch you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.